Well, you're looking at the sleep tight weather view and it takes us to Madison Park in Quincy where it's a pretty delightful day. I yeah. mean, it was a little on the warm side, but compared to the past couple of days, it, it was tolerable. You know what? It wasn't too bad out there. We did have some clouds, some showers and storms came across parts of the viewing area this afternoon. Those storms have moved away, but new storms are firing to our south and they're coming into the southern fringe area of the viewing area right now. As a matter of fact, if you're down south of Bowling Green, you probably see a whole lot of lightning off to your south down 61 Highway. A nice batch of storms moving through. Not severe, but definitely strong with lots of lightning there. All those little flecks, those lightning bolts are recent lightning strikes with this cluster of storms as it moves northeastward. So uh, right now, that's about all we have for you. A little bit of rain over far eastern Audrain County as well, indicated by that yellow splotch here over the eastern part of the county. And then we're watching this system mainly move east more than north over parts of Lincoln County, Missouri, down towards Troy, if you're familiar with that area as you drive down south towards St. Louis. Otherwise, earlier showers have dissipated. Earlier storms that were over the eastern part of the viewing area have now shifted off to the east. And we have ourselves a partly cloudy to mostly cloudy sky in spots. Some sun showing up, though, on our current conditions map here with Pittsfield coming in at the warm spot at 83, Jacksonville 83 too. Some 70s, though. Nice 70s from Kirksville back to Macomb. And it's going to be a pretty quiet evening. Can't rule out a spot storm chance. But as we go on through the next few days, we are going to see many rain chances. We're going to have 80s for highs, generally speaking, and the humidity is going to stick around, too. We'll see some pretty sticky afternoons as we head on into uh, the weekend and on into next week as well. 81 degrees with sun reported at the airport. I'd had a few clouds there myself, though I peeked outside earlier. We do have a partly cloudy sky in Quincy. The wind's out of the east-northeast, about 5 miles an hour. That dew point's still up there at 71 degrees. Air temperatures cooler to the north. Iowa, northern Illinois, fine fashion. Lower to middle 70s. You run into some 80s over southern Missouri. St. Louis is seen some good thunderstorms this afternoon. That's cooled their temperatures back into the upper 70s. So we're going to put the forecast maps into motion here. And generally what you're going to see is some clouds and you're going to see some periodic showers and storms lift up from the west and to the northeast as we head through tonight into tomorrow. We'll have temperatures back in the 80s again tomorrow afternoon and by Thursday, 9 p.m., we're going to look for a few clusters of storms around, so they'll be hit and miss, but definitely in the forecast. Tonight, we're going to look at lows near 70 degrees area-wide, and then tomorrow we'll take temperatures back on up into the middle 80s south and then up into the lower 80s further north you go of Quincy. For tonight here in Quincy, 71 for a low on forecasting. Some storms possible, but uh, about a 20% coverage, partly to mostly cloudy skies out there, 87 for a high tomorrow with scattered thunderstorms once again. Plenty of clouds out there, I do forecast as well. And then as we head through the next several days, several chances of rain right there, right across your seven-day forecast, lasting on into Labor Day. And it uh, looks like temperatures warm up for a short time on Friday. We're going to have a warm front lift up real quickly on Friday, and that will give us a burst in temperatures up to 90. And then we'll look for readings cooling back as a front comes through on Saturday with more storm chances and uh, lower 80s for highs by Saturday. So that'll be pretty nice. So it looks like you could get some rain on your Labor Day barbecue, right? You could, you could. It's, oh, it's always seeming like that, isn't it? Yes, I mean, it you does. know, like Memorial Day and Labor Day, you know, folks want to get out and grill. Well, we could see some spot storms out there and uh, temperatures a little bit above average as we head into Monday and Tuesday. All right. I know it's a bit of a rain chance on Friday. You know who is hoping that holds off is Chris Dewar. He will be in next with sports.